So, Amanda, why do you want this job? Um, you know, at the end of the day, I just need money. Okay, um, are you passionate about this job at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to be a receptionist. receptionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so what have you done for work in the past? I used to be an Uber driver, yeah. Big people person, lot of five-star reviews. Oh, nice. And why did you stop doing that? I got bummed for forcing people to give me five-star reviews. Okay. Um, do you have any weaknesses? Um, I know I look like a supermodel athlete, Kay, but I have a really hard time lifting heavy furniture, and every time I walk up a staircase, I sound like an asthmatic Darth Vader. Yeah, I don't mean physically. I mean in general. Oh, um, I'm not that good at reading people. Oh, really? That's hard to believe. Thank you for your sympathies. It's an everyday struggle. Shame. Shame. And, uh, besides money, why, why do you want this job? To be honest, I was sitting across the street at a cafe and I saw a lot of fit men walking in and out of here. This is a marriage counseling office. And? We're, we're trying to get people back together. And if they don't, who's going to be here like Shaquille O'Neal, ready for the rebound? Me. Put that down as a strength. Riley, I am ready for my date night. How do I look? Whoa. You look beautiful. Oh, pff. stop. No, like, I don't even recognize you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you usually look so tired and dull. What? And you don't smell like spicy juice or sadness. I usually smell like sa sadness has a smell. And your skin is glowing. Is it not always glowing? <laughs> Let's just say sometimes when you're sweeping, I check your pulse to make sure you're not dead. So I'm going to take that as a no. Is that your Halloween costume? Halloween? No, I'm going to... What do you think I'm trying to be for Halloween? A catfish? Okay. I'm here. Oh, Riley, who's your pretty friend? Who are you talking? It's me! Oh, wow! I did not even realize you could look like that. Right? Okay, that's it. I'm not going. Okay, it's so nice to finally get out and go to dinner without the kids. Ah, agreed. Hello, welcome. How may I help you and your friend? Uh, girlfriend. <laughs> uh, do you have a reservation? No, I've never needed one here before. No. Well, we are completely full, so we cannot serve you. Then why do I see four empty tables right there? Those are reserved. For who? Other people. Oh. I do not see any other people here. <laughs> They're running late, I guess. All of them? Yes. Let me ask you this. Todd, do you like your fingers? Oh, no. I don't understand the question. Let me rephrase. Do you like your fingers being attached to the rest of your body? Are you implying that you would take off my fingers? I did not say that. Did I say that, Janet? She didn't say that. You said that. Uh, but now that we have that all sorted, you can sit us in one of those four tables that we both know nobody is coming to sit in tonight. And you can keep your pretty little fingers so you can go home to your extremely unsatisfied wife and actually put them to use for once. Deal? Right this way. You weren't actually gonna take his fingers, right? Of course not. Okay. <laughs> hey, Ma, what are you doing here? Oh, just wanted to stop by and visit. Oh, well, Chad's over. We're just about to have dinner. Hey, how's it hanging? <laughs> My left one's hanging a lot lower than the right. I'm starting to think I should get it checked out. Gross. You want to come in for dinner? What are you having? Uh, just some leftover meatloaf. Ma. Ernie, stop the car! Wait, what? You're leaving? You just got here. If your father and I don't feel like cooking dinner, we just go to people's houses we know around dinner time, and nine times out of ten, they invite us in. And if we don't like what they're cooking, we just move on to the next house. That's diabolical. Yeah, I do it too. So when I invited you over Tuesday morning when I was crying and you pushed it to 6 p.m., it's because you just wanted free dinner? Maybe. Unbelievable. Riley gets it. I only agree to go to Costco with you because I know I'll get a hot dog and ice cream out of it. What the... Yeah, anyway, it smells like your neighbor Carol's cooking a roast, so I'll see you later. Oh, but are you guys having dessert at all? Because we'll come- Psst. 
Look what I got. Oh, nice. We can't let the kids see, though. Kids see what? Da what? Da what? Oh, nothing. Nothing. No matter what, we can't let them know about the C-A-N-D-Y. Yeah, no. Oh, and also we have to take them to go get the S-H-O-T-S's today at the D-O-C-T-O-R-S's today. Oh yeah, if they knew that ahead of time, they would totally F-R-E-A-K-O-U-T. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and while we're out, we should grab some more A-L-C-A-H-O-L. -L. Good call. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for a quick car ride? Okay. But only if you give us the C-A-N-D-Y. That's in the C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D. And you misspelled alcohol. I am hella lost in this combo right now. My Nana. Oh, sweet mother Mary of Nazareth. Riley, you can't sneak up on me like that, okay? I got a weak heart and a loose asshole. I could have died and defecated myself at the same time. I've been sitting here for 20 minutes. Really? Yeah, you made me and Papa pancakes. Oh, right. His pancakes are still on the counter. Ernie, come get your pancakes. What? Your pancakes. What? Your blueberry pancakes! They're bombing the United States! Tank cover! Call an airstrike! Anyway, can we build a fort? Yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, we're back. Do you hear that? Yeah, it's coming from over there. What the? Hey mom! How did you- Is that Chad? Hey, Jonna! <laughs> What's up? Do you got a boyfriend? No, but I have pepper spray. All right. <laughs> this is the second best sports club I've ever been to. Party sucks. Sir, can we go? <laughs> Give me a minute, Walter. I'm working the boom magic on this fine lady. You're not vrim around here, are you? <laughs> you look exotic. <laughs> is that the bar? All right, here's your drink. Thank you. And it's on. Ma! Oh, hey, my little ravioli. I thought you stopped drinking. I did, in the mornings. Where's dad? He's under the bar. This ain't a drill. Oh my god. You built this? Yeah. All right, well, let's see it. <laughs> Ten dollar door fee. There's a door fee? That's a pretty good price. Yeah, 20 if you want to get downstairs. Downstairs? What's downstairs? Fight club. You run in a fight Shh. club? We you talk about fight club. Oh my good mother Mary of God. Riley, you can't do that. I got a weak heart and a loose Oh. <laughs> oh my sweet mother Mary of God, Riley, you can't do that. I got a weak heart and a loose rectum. I could have shit myself and died. Oh sweet mother Mary of Joseph, Riley, you can't do that. I got a weak heart and a loose asshole. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. Okay, Riley, take a look at the menu. See what you want. Mojay. Hi, I'm Ocean, and welcome to Earth, the Earth's best granola and smoothie bar. Oh, well, the Earth's Best Smoothie Bar. Who gave you that title? We did. Oh, well, I don't think you can just call yourself the Earth's Best. It's kind of false advertising, but... <laughs> we here at Earth believe if you manifest enough, write it down and put it out into the world, it'll happen. Oh, right. So if I write down on a piece of paper and manifest that I want to go back in time and undo all the mistakes I made, it'll happen? Me! Not you! Of course. Anything can happen. So you're saying I can manifest time travel? very possible. Wow, okay. Uh, Riley, what do you want? A pineapple smoothie, please. Oh, good choice. Pineapple is said to help with stress and depression. I think my mom should have that one. Hey! You know what? She's right. I'm seeing a very red, aggressive aura around you right now. Oh, really? What tipped your spiny senses off? The obviously sarcastic, annoyed tone in my voice or the vein popping out of my forehead? Ma'am, I do have to tell you, this is a red aura free zone, so if you could just take a couple deep breaths, that would be great. You know what? Just give us our food and we'll get out of here, okay? We'll have one pineapple smoothie and I'll get the earth granola bowl. <gasps> Good choice. It's made with organic, vegan, grain-free, sugar-free, fat-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO, non-paraben, non-homophobic ingredients. What's it made out of? Grass? And freshly ground wood chips, yeah. Okay, you know what? Just two pineapple smoothies is good. Okay, good choice. That'll be $68.25. $68? What does it come with? Henry Cavill freshly squeezing the pineapple between his thighs directly into my mouth? Unfortunately, no. That is a good alternative to not using cups, though. The smoothies are free! Excuse me? I manifested that the smoothies would be free. You got it. I raised you right.
I think it looks like a unicorn. No, it definitely looks like a dragon. No way, it looks like Spider-Man. <laughs> no way. No, I agree with Riley. I could maybe see Batman, though. I'm Batman. We know. I changed my mind. I think it looks like a turtle. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, totally a turtle. Definitely a turtle. Nice. Cool. Solid. What are we looking at? Where did you come from? Outside. We're trying to figure out what the stain on the ceiling looks like. Okay. I see a lonely, lost, confused young man contemplating all of his life decisions and regrets. Are you sure you're not staring at a mirror? That's uncalled for. Just saying. Hey, Mom. Yeah, what's up? Someone's here to see you. Who just shows up unannounced? Tell them we're busy. Yeah, tell them to get lost. She's already inside. What? What? Hi. You just let random strangers into the house? She seemed non-threatening. Yeah, and we didn't hire an Elton John impersonator, but there's a lovely couple across the street, Rick and John. They probably did, so you're at the wrong house. No, I'm your new neighbor. My name's Chriselle. Not Christine, not Michelle. Chriselle. Huh. It's an interesting name. I know. It's my new name. My maid from a couple years ago's name was Chriselle, and I just thought it was so unique and different, so I made her legally change her name, and I took her name and legally changed it to Chriselle. And then I put in a request to the President of the Americas to make every other Chriselle change their name because I wanted to be the only one, but apparently you can't do that. So instead, I put the sparkle emojis on both sides of my name legally. So instead of Chriselle, it's Chriselle. Well, it's lovely to have you in the neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, would you like a beverage or something? Water. Sparkling. We have tap. The last time I had tap water was when I was physically dying of dehydration at Ibiza and they were all out of Boston Fiji water bottles. So this sweaty guy cracked out on Molly, put a beer bong of tap water into my throat. I would have rather died. Pass. We're gonna go to the park if you wanna join. Is there an after party at least? N no. Ew. Not to be rude. But these people are more lame than my prize pony I had to put down last week. Thanks for watching the kids for us, Ma. Bah. Oh, no problem. Honestly, it's nice to get out of the house. Ernie's hearing's getting so bad when he listens to his music, it makes my living room sound like a goddamn mosh pit. <laughs>
by Duncan for the ap ap apples and you give them to the bees to save them. Uh-huh. You know what, you f***ing passive-aggressive You come here to my house, you talk to me like I'm a piece of okay? You're the piece of I think I possibly might need a couple more therapy sessions. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to class. And since it's October 1st, I thought we could go around and say what our favorite Halloween activities are. Halloween? Oh, what is this? We do not celebrate. Oh, okay. Well, maybe the other kids can tell you. Riley? No, they. You go up to people's houses at night and demand candy and hope it's not booby-trapped. Okay, that's not, the, that's not the best description. But the only catch is they'll only give you candy if you dressed up real nice for them in a costume. Ah. Uh, costumes? Like what? A princess? A pirate? A police officer? A horror flick psychopath? A controversial political figure? For the most part, it's just adult professions or anything that makes you seem like an adult. Okay, I don't- Oh, and the best part is, is you can throw toilet paper and eggs at people's houses once you obtain the candy. No. Okay, let me get this straight. So you dress up to appear older than you are in most cases, and then trespass on people's property, and then bang on their door and demand free candy, gambling on the fact that it could be laced with something or have razor blades in it, and in return, you vandalize their property with things you can find in the bathroom or the fridge. And you are trying to terrorize and take advantage of as many homes as you can this night, da? Yeah, that about sums it up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. This is amazing. This is new favorite holiday. That ah, sign us up. Absolutely. Oh god. Hey my little linguini, can you come over here? What's up, Ma? I don't know my password. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to you do it! Well, I, I don't know your password, Ma. Why did I even bother having children? Okay. What do you think your password was? I don't know. The internet guy came over and told me to use something that I hated so no one would ever guess it. Uh okay, uh so what do you hate? Oh my, where do I start? Loud chewing? Okay. People who think they don't need to wash their feet in the shower and they just let that nasty debris soap and water fall onto their feet and then they ask you for a foot massage later, Ernie. You can't make me do it, Irene! Uh, people yeah. who start a sentence with no offense and people that don't cover their mouth when they sneeze. I hope Satan's got a front row seat safe for those assholes downstairs, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Them, along with people that drive the speed limit in the left lane. What are you doing? Move over, okay? I'm trying to go Mach 5 to church. Move. And for the people that are gluten-free and make me feel bad for eating all the bread at Olive Garden. I like bread, Tiffany. I like bread. Ma. And when there's someone at the grocery store standing right in front of the thing that you need so you pretend you don't need it and you wait for them to move but they're standing there for so long so you gotta do this awkward reach over thing and say sorry, sorry, and then they say sorry, now they feel bad. I hate that. I hate that so much. Great. <sighs> Great. Are any of those the password? No. Perfect. Oh, I hate this. Your password was forgetting your password. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, my God. Riley, can you get that? Yeah. Hey, oh, Scout Weeder Boone. Hey there, kiddo. Your mom around? Maybe. Uh, get, can I see her? Mom! Much obliged. You look like someone on TV. <laughs> well, I get that a lot. Usually Matthew McConaughey from Dallas Buyers Club. No. Well, or Tom Selleck. No. More like every main suspect on Dateline. Hmm. <laughs> you find a little maggot, aren't you? My Nona says not to trust anybody with a mustache. Well, your Nona is misinformed. Trust me. I don't, because you have a mustache. Sorry, sorry. Boom? Did Riley do something bad at day camp? No. No. She's a treat. I merely came here to inquire about taking you out onto the town. Are you asking me out? That I am. I'm seeing someone, so... Oh, well, can you see someone else, too? <laughs> you can see the door slam in your face, all right? Playing hard again. I like that. So weird. It's the mustache. Can't trust them. Nope. Hi there. Did you seriously just put your hand in my... Am I tasting peanut butter and... Dish soap? Maybe. It is too early for this, Riley. I have a bad headache, and last night I had way too much spicy juice. 
No. Spicy water? No. Liquid courage? What? The devil's wettest? No. A whitewashing? Okay. Nyquil on the rocks? Where are you getting this terminology from? No, no, it's me watch Family Guy. Fantastic. Pop Pop likes the bright colors and profanity. I'm sure he does. Why did you wake me up in the first place? I made a potion. A potion? And what? PB and dish soap. Where? In the kitchen. Okay. On the floor. You want to see it? No, I do not want to see it. Thanks for bringing the boys in Diamond Kettle. It's been a while. Oh, yeah, we took a trip down south to go see the boy's father. He's been so locked up. Oh, yeah, with work and stuff? Oh, in jail. <coughs> what? Oh, don't worry. It was just for theft. Ah. Uh, oh, of a minor. <coughs> oh, league baseball collectible. It was one of a kind. Oh, you need to work on where you pause in your sentences. Oh, a collectible. Oh, well, that's not so bad. <laughs> yeah. And international tax fraud. <coughs> nice seeing you, comrades. Da. Hey, ain't no thing. <laughs> yeah, so where's that little cute blondie? <laughs> yeah, Texas and I got a bet going to see which one of us can get her first. <laughs> what? I said Texas and Ned, I got he a... he heard what you said. I think he's just trying to refrain from putting you in an untimely grave or... He is constipated? Either way, I would not stick around. Hello, mother. Da, what is it? I have a request. Proceed. I'm simply requesting that you terminate the relationship with Janet so me and Riley can live happily ever after. No. I had a feeling that you would say that, so I have put together a presentation to demonstrate my rebuttal. This should be good. Go ahead. Okay. Sergey. Oh, da. This is you and me. Happy, content, and carefree. I have a little more muscle than that, but keep going. This is you and Janet. Happy in love, but this is me. Sad, alone, miserable, desperate, dejected, afraid. Okay, thesaurus, let's keep it moving. Okay, next. This is me. Young, full of life and promise. And this is you. Old, decrepit, frail. So close to that, you can see the Grim Reaper waving at you through the peephole in your front door. Let's get to the point. Flash forward to your inevitable soon demise. Janet is sad for the rest of her short and miserable life. How old do you think we are? I am sad. Everyone is sad. But this could all be avoided if you let me and Riley be happy together forever. Is that me in the casket? So let me get this straight. You want me, a single mother from Russia who came over and had her husband leave her and left her with her two children who never thought she would find love again, but then she found it again with a woman that finally loved her back and she is so happy, but she wants me to give all that up so my four-year-old son can live out his first puppy love? Yeah, pretty much. No. Oh, Bex is here. I'll get it. What? Oh my god, she's here. Quick, how do I smell? Like fishy crackers. And anxiety. Yeah, he does. My love for Bex is still immeasurable. I need to impress her. Do you guys have any X body spray? Bex, thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. Yeah, no problem. My band, You're Not My Dad's Gig, got cut short because the place lit up. Oh, I got a little too rowdy, or, or lit, as the kids say. <laughs> no, the place literally went up in flames. Uh, oh, oh, dear God. I... Stop that. Why are you smiling? My therapist told me I should try to smile more. Yeah, no, no, don't do that. Usually people smile when they're happy or something funny happens, and given the information you just gave me, you probably shouldn't be doing that. I thought it was kind of funny. She said smiling made me look more approachable. Yeah, no, it makes you look more like you're gonna bust your head through my front door and say, here's Johnny. Okay, I'm going to keep my cool. Yeah, just act normal. Da, and just don't say anything stupid. Da. All right, kids, I'll see you later. Have fun with Bex. Hey. 
Did you know that 43% of your total cells in your body are actually you and the other half is just foreign viruses, fungi, and bacteria? That's funny. <coughs> Who is that? I don't know. Ah, it looks like Karen is here. Oh my god, what the hell does she want? Who knows? You want to play rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to argue with her? Sure. Rock, rock paper, 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 grenade scissors. launcher. You can't just make up your- you know what, I don't even care. She's all yours. Thank you. Karen, to what do I owe this displeasure? Katrina. I see you chose to walk here instead of flying in on your broom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, I'm here because one of the other duty moms at school informed me that your boys weren't including my son Hunter <gasps> in their recess activities and instead made him go play with that sarcastic wino mom's daughter, Riley, and her dolls. Hey, that is Miss Sarcastic Wino to you. Hmm. Why don't I call my boys so they can explain? Yeah, how about you do that? Boys? Da? Da, mother? Explain why you did not let Hunter <laughs> play with you two at recess. Oh, simple. We were playing playground warfare tactics. As one does, da? Da, and Hunter opted out of playing with us so he decided to play dolls with Riley. Pretty much, yeah. Hmm. Simple explanation. Well, they're obviously lying, right, Hunter? <laughs> See? You've rendered him speechless. Just tell Riley to keep her dolls away from my son. I can speak. It's all a facade, really. The more my mother assumes I'm shy or illiterate, the less she feels the need to converse with me. Which is good, because she is insufferable. As for the playground situation, why would I play silly, messy, aggressive games with the boys when I can have a spot of tea with Riley, Barbie, and Ken? We have very constructive, intelligent conversation. It's true! Yes. Finally. Mom! What? I don't want a nap! Come on, mommy needs some alone time. You need a nap. I'll let you watch whatever you want when you wake up, okay? Dateline! Anything but Dateline. Okay! Okay. Okay. You know, you should really be locking your doors. Where did you spawn from? You don't want the next Ted Bundy to just be waltzing in here. Or an overbearing, no filter mother who's probably late for a colonoscopy. What? Nothing. Where's dad? I just left him in the car with the windows cracked. He's listening to his meditation music his therapist told him to listen to. Okay, well, I'm trying to have a peaceful afternoon. Good for you. With no distractions. You deserve it. Alone. You got it. I'm not even here. This is Big Monday. Hey, Mom! <laughs> What are you doing up? I just put you down for a nap. You never specified duration of time. Loophole, nice one. Come and watch some Dateline with you, Nona. No. Good day. Janet, reschedule my colonoscopy. Oh my god. Your mom and I thought it'd be a good idea to spend some quality alone time with each other's kids, so what do you guys want to do? You want to see a movie? Bah, maybe. Uh, we could see Space Jam. That is child's movie. Da! What about Fast and Furious? <gasps> da! Uh, no, that's rated like PG-13. You guys are four. But we do have IQ of someone that is 16, so that's basically a piss. Yeah, no, nice try. Fine. We will just tell our mother that you don't care about our family. Fine. I wonder how Katrina's holding up. <laughs> Riley, do you have a death wish? No. You attack from vulnerable points, from behind, not the front. Run it again. Okay. Thanks for coming to talk to us, Chad. Though we appreciate it. Yeah, for sure.
But before you say anything, I know Bex is a good babysitter and all, but I need this part-time job because Starbucks just laid me off because I was giving out free drinks to the chicas and I may or may not have possibly passed out on the Starbucks counter from a sugar high eating my own concoction of cake pop, sugar cookie, mocha frappuccino with extra caramel drizzle. But that's not why you are here. And I may have worked under the influence of the devil's lettuce on one occasion. <laughs> Okay. Okay, 17 occasions, but that doesn't mean I'm not a good babysitter. Chad, this is not about your babysitting capabilities. Okay, but I'm a little concerned now. I have some questions. It is fine. We wanted to tell you we are together. Like? Yeah. Da. Like you're gonna get rid of me together? No. Listen, I know what Katrina keeps in the third drawer of her dresser, okay? I can't go out like that, man. Ch what? You were in my dresser? No, you specifically said I couldn't go in that drawer. Don't worry about it. Chad, we're saying we're seeing each other. What? Oh, okay, cool. About time. I am honored I'm the first one that you told. You are actually the last to know. What? After all I've done for you? I'm your kid's babysitter. It's pending now. <laughs> can't believe this, man. Oh, we know you can't keep a secret, Chad. We know you would have told everybody before we had a chance to. Wow, so that's what you think of me. What's that? Right after you told me I blasted the group chat. See? Duh. And I may have tweeted it. Oh, bullshit. Oh. Thanks for watching, Riley Ma. No problem, but are you really going out dressed like a GTA stripper? How do you know what GTA is? Your father's therapist told him to play it to let out some pent up aggression. Eat my bullets, motherfucker! Yeah. But don't worry, you don't have anything to worry about. You don't have a dateline face. A dateline face? Yeah, you know the girls that always end up on Dateline. The smile always lights up a room. And they're always so nice and could stop traffic with their good looks. So you're saying I'm ugly? I'm saying the only traffic that you're gonna stop is divorced men in the 50s driving by looking for a good time. Thanks, Ma. Goodbye. Hello, my little Ravi. How are you? Mom won't let me watch Law & Order anymore. Oh, well, that's understandable. Yeah, cause that show was all fiction. You need to be watching true crime like Dateline. Really? Okay! Yeah, you gotta learn how to not trust anybody early because you... You got a daylight face. Are we there yet? Ah! Ah, we're going to be late! How are you gonna be late going to the park? We have business to attend to. Oh, what business? Who gets to go down the slide first? Or who gets pushed off the slide first? What? Nothing! Okay, can you guys just play the quiet game or something? Oh, that is best game. What are you doing? Why are you guys putting socks in your mouth? That is quiet game. You put sock in mouth, whoever spits out last wins five dollars. I have gone days with sweet, sweet silence and it only cost me five dollars. I, I don't know if that's morally okay, Katrina. It's voluntary. I don't make them do it. I just bribe them. Okay, let's play something else. Okay, I spy! Sure. How can we play I spy if we do not have paintball guns? What kind of I spy you playing with paint? You know what? I don't want to know. Hey there, Mom. What are you doing up? It's like 3 a.m. Um, the only excuse I'll allow for you waking me up at 3 a.m. is the fact that it's the witching hour and you're either already possessed or the demons figured out that you're already one of them. It's 3 p.m. Oh, what? Oh, I don't even remember going to bed last night. Are you experiencing an amnesia gap? What? No, how do you know what that is? That's what Detective Benson on Law & Order said the murderer experienced before she killed her husband. Why are you watching Law & Order? You woke me up last night and told me to watch it with you. Serious? I don't remember any of that. I gotta lay off the below. That's also what the murderer said on the stand. Okay, we're not gonna repeat anything that happened last night or today to anyone, okay? Fresh start. That's also what the murderer said to her accomplice on the security tapes. Okay, no more Law & Order for you. Oh, I'm so glad I chaperoned for Riley's art gallery field trip. They even given away food like they do at the Costco. I'll be right back. Uh, all right, kids. We are in the German artist Gunther's gallery today. It's just Gunther? No last name? And last names are overrated. Beyonce, Cher, Queen. And one name is superior. Queen is a band! Why is this tiny human asking stupid questions? That wasn't the question. Come, come. I'll show you my work. First up is this one. It is called Cage Bananas. Wow, so there's a probably a deeper meaning behind this. Da, most likely an analogy for a mother nature feeling trapped. Right, Gunther? Hmm? No, it's just bananas I put in a cage. 
you know, I have been compared to other artists, Beethoven, Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci, and to that I say, who? Moving on! Miss Amy, is Gunter a man or a woman? Oh, Riley, it's not polite. And man, woman, extraterrestrial, illuminous, and godlike being, either is fine. Okay. I don't like labels. Would you put a label on pill bottle? No, I just simply am. Hi, Janet. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, let's hurry this up, because I'm running late for a three o'clock range time with Katrina. Oh, you golf. Where the hell is Janet? Yeah. So, what did Riley do, exactly? Right, so we had one of our playground duty moms report that Riley said to her, How long do I have to wait until you burst into your natural demon form? Mm-hmm. Oh, and here's the duty mom now. Janet? Oh, it's Karen. Okay. No wonder you're late. I know it's a bit of a trek crawling up all the way from the depths of hell. <laughs> this is making more sense now. Your daughter's just as trashy as her mother. Oh, that's rich coming from somebody that just yelled homophobic slurs to me and Katrina the other day. Hmm, too bad your girlfriend isn't here to back you up. Hmm, I think she is. What? <gasps> okay, I think we're fine here. Yeah, Riley, let's go. Oh, hey. Here you go, Janet. Carol. Thanks. Thanks. So, uh, we have something to tell you, Carol. Mm-hmm. It's kind of serious. Wait, wait. I cannot help you bury a dead body, okay? No. no I just cannot have that on my conscience. Oh my, Carol. No, no, I do not care what they did. What did they do? No, no. Oh my God. No, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Curiosity killed the cat, Carol. Carol. You know what? If we went back in time and you asked college, Carol, this might be a different story, but I am a woman of God now. What? You know what? Why don't we, why don't we dip into church? You know, I know it's a Wednesday at 1030, but the good Lord can pencil you in to confess your sins. Maybe not you, but. Carol, shut up. Let us speak. Okay. Go ahead. We're dating. Bah. You're dating. You're cremating? That's worse than burying. No, Janet and I are dating. Oh, oh, well, well, that's nice. Oh, I just never know what to expect with you two. I just, <laughs> but this, this is, that's great. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. Bah. Thank you. And burning and cremating a body would be worse way to get rid of body. <laughs> I have heard. Why am I nervous? Don't be. You told her we're dating, right? I know she didn't like me to begin with. <laughs> Mama, mango yeti pets kazet koisto. Da. Uh, Janet. Da, you told the rock. Nivojna. Katrina. Da. Maybe to impress her, say something in Russian to her. Yeah, okay. Like what? Uh, say you are beautiful. Vyochin krasivaya. Vyochin krasiva? No. Vyochin krasivaya. Vyochin krasiva. Vyochin krasivaya. You know what? Going faster doesn't help, okay? Vyochin krasivaya. That, good enough. Just go. Okay. Hey. One sec. Hey. Da? How do you say you're beautiful in Russian again? Da! It's. No, no, no. It is, uh. Tina Crancy Brindila. Okay, got it. Thanks. Tina Crancy Brindila. <laughs> what is. Yes, Nayo. So this, you start. Uh, you're in. Sit, sit. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Have fun at day camp, kids. Da, play nice. All right, maggots. We got a new camper with us. Uh, Suwarse. I think it's Thursday, sir. Um, it's Sarsha. What kind of backwards ass Irish witchcraft name is that? I like it. All right, today we are earning our flash badge. Flash badge? Yeah, it's for quick thinking skills, obviously. So, you're getting chased by a black bear. Do you climb a tree or run away? 
You should always not you, Mafia boss. I'm asking the lucky charm. Climb a tree. Uh, wrong. Trick question. It's neither. Now you're a gourmet boo boo bear lunchable. What's the right answer, Pipsqueak? Trip you first and then walk away slowly. I respect that. Give her the badge. Serious? Oh. Thanks. You're my best friend, Katrina. I know. I wonder what is taking mother so long. Judging by how dilated her eyes were and how sweaty her brow was while driving, I'm going to assume she's finally confessing her feelings for Janet. What? You're my person. And I don't want to mess that up. Just tell her you're part of the wine of the month club, you'll be a shoo for sure. Sorry. You're the only person in my life who's always been there since I met you. Um, hello? You too. And I can't stand the thought of losing you. But I also can't stand the thought of not at least trying this. Yay! No! What did she say? They're gonna try and date. What? They're gonna try and date. They've penetrated the gate! Oh my god. Katrina? Let me talk, Janet. Listen, I've been holding this back for a long time now and I just need to get it off my chest. I just listen, I love you dearly as a friend, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel more than that. Listen, all I know is, is I want to be in your life no matter what. And whether that's as a friend or as a partner, I don't care. I just wanted to just know. Are you done? Marie? Yeah, we're having a family dinner. Janet's out getting booze. <sighs> Could you at least tell Janet that I... Oh, Marie left, but I couldn't help but eavesdrop. This is like the LGBT123 Pride and Prejudice. Oh, it's LGBT. Don't worry, I'm very hip, I'm very now. What is it? Katrina loves Janet. What? Katrina loves Janet. The people turned at the planet. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, Katrina, that was a great parenting class last week. Ah, good. Well, parenting class? Oh, I do parenting classes in my basement for misbehaving kids for some extra dough. <laughs> and what does that entail? Well... Hello, ladies. In Chad? I just came from the snacks. Okay, so for a scenario, you're playing game with your kid. Do you let them win? Oh, yeah. Wrong! You beat them! Get the game. Last thing you want is to raise a little cocky Modoc. Modoc? So first exercise is to look at your toddler and tell them you suck. Oh, I don't think. Oh, do you hear that? Hear what? It is the sound of them walking all over you! Okay. You suck. Alright. Okay. You suck. Perfect segue into punishment. Huh. I should bring Riley to one of those. First class is free if you bring vodka. Oh, Chad just said he has a surprise outside. Are they? What is it? Oh my god. Oh, huh? The new whip! Oh god. Where did you find this? Oh, they were practically giving her away at the police auction. Why, Chad? I'll be great when I babysit the little dudes. Super spacious, super private, no windows. Could even put a candy station back there. And we could do ice cream. Some big brain ideas, little dude. Don't encourage Chad. Also, I figured I could wrap it like the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. Mm-hmm. But since the kids always sleep when I'm driving them around, I was thinking the kid napping machine. Do you hear yourself? Why you always gotta harsh my mellow, Janet? The kidnapping machine. The kidnapping machine. The kidnapping machine. Yeah, the kidnapping machine. Ja oh, I hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it back. Or torch it. Yeah. Honda Civic next time. I'm glad to get this wig off. So your day didn't show. Yeah, probably saw me and walked out. Janet, I have no problem dragging him down and making his inevitable demise look like an accident. <laughs> that would be ideal. <laughs> Maybe he trips off remote cliff or has faulty wiring that leads to devastating house fire. <laughs> or, or he accidentally trips in front of a bus. Yeah, it's too public, too messy. I I'm joking. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. Well, this is actually really nice, our first accidental date. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I can't imagine the kids are having a crazier night than we are. Oh, I'm levitating! Oh, oh shit. Courtney, show me your face. Boo. Holy shit! 
I'll be back. Holy shit. Oh! <coughs> what the fuck? I'm sure they're fine. Table for one, please. Oh, actually, we don't have... What is your name? Emily. Emily. If you do not get me table, I will simply delete you from existence. Okay, right this way. Here you are, and I'll get you a glass of water. Vodka. Okay. Here you go. How long has that woman been sitting alone? Poor thing's been sitting there for 30 minutes. What? Hello, Jenna. About time, I'm starving. I'm gonna kill you at the top on my wine. Uh, can we move this chair so it's not a constant reminder about how I'm gonna be alone forever? Janet, I'm a freaking loser. <laughs> Janet, you're not. Katrina, what are you doing here? Full desk. May I join you? Yeah, I'd love that. This place has got great service. Bah, only had to threaten the waitress. You didn't. I did. So, how do I look? Wait, 10 bucks! Only 10 bucks? That's a lot of freaking money! So, Janet, little dude, got a hot date? Yeah, thanks for watching Riley. I'm out of here. Please. All right, little dude, so Beck said she's watching Sergey and Misha, so I invited them over. Where's Katrina? Oh, no, she said she had to gather intel. You'd spy on Janet, too. Oh, that worked out. Hey. Hello. Hello. So beautiful. Move. Plan parent trap is working. I know. So Bex, I don't know about you, but I feel some serious chemistry. Shut up. I sense something. <sighs> Me too. No, like a presence. Like an uptight, basic bitch spirit. Sounds a lot like Courtney. Who's Courtney? That was my dead ex influencer girlfriend. We weren't serious, right? <laughs> well, she didn't like that. So my ex influencer girlfriend is haunting this place? Probably just haunting you, but yeah. She haunted us in real life too. It's true. Duh. What does she want? She's trying to say something. She wants her t tum tumbler. It's in my car. We could use it as an object in a seance to reach her better. Okay, I'll get it. I wonder how our moms are holding up. Duh. Table for one, please. Here's a tumbler. Let's do this. Hold hands. It would help to chant something she loves. She has a daughter diamond. No. Her favorite Starbucks drink was a triple venti half sweet non fat caramel macchiato with extra drizzle. Triple venti half sweet non fat caramel macchiato with extra drizzle. Triple venti half sweet non fat. Non -fat, non -fat caramel. What does that mean? It's not looking good for you. Hey, one more. Yeah, come on right up. So how's dating life going? You know, I've tried Finder, Fumble, Patch.com, nothing. Maybe you should just look up from your phone and- Oh, wait, look at this guy, Diego. He looks like a jobless poser that peaked in high school. Tell me how you really feel. He seems nice, likes wine, afternoon naps. Yeah, cause he doesn't have a job. Like sarcastic, possibly alcoholic single moms with above average kids. It's oddly specific. Here you go, ladies. I couldn't help but over here, you two ladies were looking for a man. Singular. Scout leader boom. <laughs> Listen, I like the women the way I like my alcohol. Hot, spicy, and temporarily fixes my problems until the morning. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Oh, that's awful. Get out, boom, you cut off. <laughs> You're lost. Some men. Da, they suck. I bet Diego's not like that, though. <laughs> Make it a double. Oh, day dies! Implementing planned parent trap! Oh, I love that movie. Oh, me too, but which one? The original is pretty iconic. I know, but Lindsay Lohan was so good. Shut up! Let's go over the plan! You know, maybe we shouldn't do this. Okay, the plan is we make fake profile that is too good to be true on the dating site that your mom uses. Right, they're attractive, likes wine, afternoon naps, single sarcastic, possibly alcoholic moms with above average kids. Misha, continue. Oh, right, and once your mom shows interest, we plan a romantic date with her, but then we ghost her and make sure my mother is there instead. Yes, what name should we use? Hello, dudes, I'll know what you're talking about, but specifically, statistically, Chad is the hottest name. So what is the opposite name of Chad? <gasps> Let's use my first crush's name. It's exotic and beautiful. Diego! Dora's cousin. Oh, there she is. Hey! What's with the plant? 
You said you wanted to talk about something important, so I brought you succulent. Thanks. Come in. All right. I have been waiting for this. So? I want to start dating. Okay, done. Yeah, I figured you could be my wingman. I just want to go out there and meet people. Oh. Hey, Katrina. Huh? Your parents are here? Oh, yeah, they're looking after Riley while we go out. Hit the town. Ah. Oh, I wish I was single again. What? I said I wish I was single again. Two sugars, three creams, thanks. No, this is what you have to look forward to. Oh my god. So what kind of person you looking for? I don't know. Good looking. Nice. Non-judgmental, likes wine. I prefer vodka, but... Are you gonna date Jesus? No. Then you should lower your expectations. Thanks. <sighs> Who knocks on people's doors unannounced? Like, text me. Karen? Yeah. Halloween's not for another five months. Halloween? Yeah, why else would you be dressed up like an uptight hoity-toity arrogant snake? Very funny. Wait till I tell an actual joke. Oh, wait, that's you. Can you drop it? Listen, I don't know how long you can stay in this human vessel before you bust into your natural demon form, so let's hurry this up. Thanks to your daughter putting makeup on Hunter a couple weeks ago? Huh? He wants to wear it all the time. And? It's completely inappropriate. Oh, you know what? My daughter plays with Legos. I guess we should just lock them both up. Sarcasm. Oh, you cracked the case, Sherlock. <laughs> We're out of here, Hunter. Hunter? He wanted purple this time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I get it. You're just jealous because he's prettier than you. I'll call Riley in. Okay. Riley, come on in. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Hey, Angel. You usually call me Spawn of Satan. Say, okay, Miss Amy tells me you're telling kids if they get hurt, it's okay to swear. Yeah, because you told me it was okay. <coughs> no, that's, that's only if mommy accidentally gets hurt, okay? Not you or other kids. Okay, so no more sh or b. Oh. Yeah, no more. What about mother Oh, dear God. None of them. You can't say any of them. Okay. Okay. Okay, and maybe it's a good idea for you to stop swearing in the household as well. Yeah. Great. Gonna tell me to stop drinking too? Yeah, does she loves her wine. No, I don't recommend. No, Miss Amy, do you have kids? No. All right, then kindly shut the f up, okay? I'm out of here. Thank you for coming in, Janet. Yeah, love getting called in by Riley's teacher at the end of a Friday. All right, so Riley has been using some inappropriate language. Oh, like what? Pee pee and poo poo? More like shit and bit. And have you heard her say this? Well, no, but some of the other kids have said- Oh, which one? I bet it's Karen's kid. He eats sand as a pastime. No, what I was about to say is the other kids said that Riley said that it's okay to swear if you get hurt. Yeah, and? So you told her that? Oh, what do you say when you stub your toe, the Lord's Prayer? I'm sensing some hostility. Yeah, no shit, Peter Parker. Your spidey senses are working. Okay. Do you even have any proof besides some toddler's confessions? I have a picture Riley drew yesterday. Hmm. I see leadership. I see dictatorship. So she swore a little. What's the issue? We have all our toddlers on the playground slapping themselves in the face in order to use vulgar language. Okay, I'll talk to her. Fantastic. Seriously, Janet? It's not what it looks like. Well, it looks like you two were doing the devil's tango. Ma! Butter in the biscuit. No. Exploring your chamber of secrets. Oh my god. Playing hide the cannoli. Stop! Ladies? The Aussie bartender? Really? You know what? We're well, Australian and a bartender. He's a triple threat. You slept with him? No, it's not like that. I was unconscious. I'm going to kill him. No, not like that. I was wasted and he drove me home. She was throwing up everywhere. Took her home, took care of her. We fell asleep. Exactly. Hmm. Are you my new dad? Oh, uh, no, you're just friends, but I can make you some brekkie. Mate! My mouse? That's the only word that came out of your mouth that I understood. Make it a double. And screwdriver. I'll drive a screw right through your skull. Katrina! Hold the orange juice. I don't know why we don't hang out one on one more. This is nice. Nah, you want the swig? It's not juice, is it? Spicy juice. Yeah, your breath smells flammable. At least the boys are having fun. 
So you boys want to play a game called roulette? Oh, I'm down for anything. But you haven't even heard of terms. Oh, our Paul says to try everything at least once. Unless it's tax fraud. Mm-hmm. Only tax fraud? Yeah, because that's what he's in jail for. Alright, so game is simple. We will stand in circle. I will throw ball straight up in the air. Last one to move wins. Alright. Alright. Alright, and go! Oh, look, they're playing catch. That's nice. Looks like roulette. Sorry, what? Oh my god, buddy! Are you okay? Did I win? Duh, you have a respect. And probably a mild concussion. Nothing a little spicy just can't fix. This is why we don't hang out. You cannot tell anybody this took place. Oh shit, stay here! Hey, Ma, what are you doing here? Hey, I came down here to tell you that I quit drinking. You came all the way here to tell me that? Well, excuse me, I thought that was a big deal. Since it's the fourth time this month you've said that, a call would have sufficed. Well, you know what they say, four times a charm. Now where's my little ravioli? No, Riley's not here. Is there something wrong? Nope. I've watched enough Dateline episodes to know what's going on. Say what if you're in danger. What? Oh my god. No, ma- Hello, ladies here to drop off Riley. hi -o. Hey, thanks, Katrina. I think she's being held hostage. What? No. Blink twice if you're in danger. What? That's fun. I can't not blink. That's too, I'm coming in. No. What are you doing here? I told you to stay in the room. Did you have a sweepover without me? Oh my god, I need a martini. Hmm. Hello, my little tortellini. Ravioli, come on in. Hey, ma. Hey, oh, Nona. Hey, dad. Dad. His hearing's getting a lot worse, and he refuses to go to the doctor because he thinks they're gonna chip him. Chip him? What? And the neighbors have called the cops several times because he maxes out the volume on the television and he refuses to watch anything other than war movies and criminal minds. Oh, jeez. What is he doing? Making sure none of the neighbor kids step on his lawn. He's got nothing better to do? After his dog Coco died, the lawn is all he has. Go on and get Trespassers. Dad. Pop Pop! They've infiltrated! No, Pop Pop, it's me! Oh, how you doing, little butter tart? My mate. You snuck up on me pretty good. We could have used you and Nam. Nam? Mm, back in my day. No. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Our mothers have to meet at some point. What's going on? I believe both our grandmothers are about to meet. Oh, nice! No, Babushka likes no one who is not blood. And my known as bad shit crazy, so this should be good. I'll make the popcorn. Okay, my ma's here. Could she at least smile? She has not cracked a smile in 70 years. Hey, ma. Hello, my little linguine. So where is this old hag? Be nice. 20 bucks says they brawl. Now, nah, take that bet. Nona, babushka, babushka, nona. Your face always look like you just smelled somebody else's fart. Nobody told me I was beating the knockoff Russian version of Mrs. Delphire today. I bet I could drink your old ass under the table too, that's why I brought you some primo vodka. It is medical. What the f- Mom, there's someone at the door! Oh, really, you think? Yeah. The fact that you are my child and you still don't get sarcasm is very concerning to me. Hey, what? Karen? Yeah. Yeah, you got the wrong house. No. Yeah, no, actually, the uptight, miserable, middle-aged spawn of Satan meeting is down the street. You're gonna take a left. You're gonna see a cliff. You're gonna jump off. I'm here because my son, Hunter, <gasps> wants a play date with... Riley? Yeah. You know, it's not too late to change your name. Oh, so I should have named my kid after the exact opposite of what he is? Your kid's name should be Deer in Headlights, a stunned possum. You know what? We're done. Hunt Hunter? Riley. Isn't he pretty? Huh? Hunter, you have makeup on your face. Oh, really, you think? Sarcasm. Thanks for watching the kids on such short notice specs. Doll, we appreciate it. No problem. My band's gig got cancelled, so. Oh, you in a band. What's it called? We're kind of between names right now. Souls Eclipsed, Hormonal Rage, and You're Not My Dad. A lot of options there. I'm not gonna unpack. I like them all. Okay, we're out of here. What do you little monsters want to do? Whatever you want to do, my love. 
Flip babysitter. What's boy hide and seek? Superb idea, Riley. Superb. I it's great. What's great? Superb. What's superb? I'm counting to ten. One, two, three, four. Riley, come five, hide in here with me. Six, oh, seven, ten. You're really bad at this game. Brats! Would you like these flowers? I hate flowers. Damn it. Hey yo. Oh, uh, sup Riley, how are you? I'm okay. Cool, your mom there? No. Oh, is Bex babysitting you? Maybe I should stop over and say hey. Nope. Bex is a babysitting or I can't come over? Both. Then who's babysitting you? No one. What? Oh, my car's in the shop. I gotta call the cops. Stay on the line. Okay. Are those gunshots? What the hell is going on? What is this? It's skeleton a bone? I'm also chief deputy. We have reports of child abandonment. What? I was taking a nap and my kid was watching Frozen on an iPad. My iPad died and I got bored. You said this- I am so sorry. Thanks for watching the kids, Ma. Duh, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Oh, and I saw on the television today that there's a man with a mustache running around flashing people, so keep an eye out. Really? Here? Well, not in this city, but you never know. Okay, goodbye, Ma. Don't trust anyone with a mustache. Hello, my little tortellinis. How are you? I have to go to the bathroom. All right, go ahead. <laughs> not right here. Go to the bathroom. Okay. Hey. So what's with you two? I am in love with your beautiful intellectual granddaughter. Oh, well. Well, I don't know about intellectual because she just tried to shit her pants right here, but that's adorable. What about you? I am in love with an older woman. Oh, I've been there. Back in high school, my first love was a senior and I was a junior, but I was too chicken to say anything, so take Nona's advice and go for it. Okay, I will. Good. You got a picture of her? Da. Let's see ya, huh? Oh dear god, I retract my statement. Auntie Marie! What's up, sugar? Can I get my makeup done like you? Riley, you don't need any makeup, honey. You're beautiful. Please? Your mom's right, but she could definitely use some. <laughs> How long did you say you're gonna stay here again? Who's that? Hopefully some new skincare for those wrinkles. Hey, thanks for co- Why do you have a duffel bag? You texted me 911. I came prepared. Yeah, because I needed some more support because my sister's here. I don't need a sleep in with the fishes. All right. I'm just keeping options open. Just come in. Marie, Katrina. Katrina, Marie. Привет. Oh, wow. You got to buy friends from RussianCompanions.com? No. You can't even keep a husband, let alone the friend. She's actually my girlfriend. Y what? Just go with it. Y yeah. Wow. Good for you. Surprised you can lend anything with, you know, letting go of yourself and all. I'm going to get to my duffel bag. No. All right, maggots. Today's all about kayaking. Who here has kayaked before? I know you have, Walter. Sorry, just making sure my inferiors know I'm a pro. <laughs> More like prude. What did you say, maggot? Oh, nothing. Pipsqueak? He said more like prude. The hell, old dude? All right, looks like we got ourselves our first volunteer kayaker. Oh, it's cool. I actually have an innate fear of water activities. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Yeah. You think I give a shit, you walking token sun visor? Yeah, you think he gives a sh- Permission to say the S word? Permission to not. Oh, get in, boy. Okay. Five bucks says he falls in. We'll take that. Five bucks says he cries. Can I get a paddle, please? Oh! I just saw something move! Alright guys, ready to go. Good to go. Good to go! Somebody wanna tell me why I'm up so early? It is Chris's one year anniversary on TikTok. She's posted 365 days in a row, okay? No days off, okay? She deserves this. We'd be nothing without her. Okay, okay, calm down. What do you guys think, you're the Avengers? Alright, we're not saving humanity, let's just go. Shh, okay, ready? Happy, Happy anniversary! anniversary. Oh my god. Thanks, guys. Oh, how did you get Janet up? <laughs> uh, very funny. Poppy one year, Chris. Oh, you got me a pickle?
That's all you had in the fridge. Fair. And I ate all the dino nuggies, so I bought you some wine. Oh, thanks. I'll take that. <laughs> Here, have some of this vodka coffee. Yet. Oh, really? It's straight vodka. Yeah. Grace. What's up, Riley? We love you, O'Day. Love you, too. And you, too, O'Day. You good? Bah. What does love feel like, Misha? Ugh, like you are getting biggest, warmest hug you have ever received. And you want to throw up and pass out at the same time. I feel it. Oh, Bex, also, I have Chad coming over to show you the ropes for babysitting boys for the first time. Great. Oh, that is him now. Hello, Chad. Sup, Katrina, you miss me? About as much as fish misses dry land. I'll miss you too. Hey, boys. Hey. <laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah, oh, and who is this, uh, angelic creature? I'm the girl that'll rip those stupid sun visors off your face and shove them where the sun don't shine if you call me that again. Uh, I know I liked you. <coughs> who is that? That is a new babysitting prospect. I don't want a new babysitter. Well, apparently Chad can't work seven nights a week for free, so no babysitter. Hello, Bex. Ready to hang out with Misha and Sergey? Yeah! Okay. Yalla blue tibia! Spasiba! Everything okay? Who was that? No, it was just my mother. Oh, you fighting with your mom? No, I just told her I love her. Really? I... Riley, Janet, come on in. Okay! Riley, Misha, Sergey, go play! So what's new with you? I'm on that called Tinder. I thought you were married. Though my husband is in Russia, but I'm doing renovations. What? Tinder's a dating app. What? No. I put in my bio I need big strong men or women to come help me rearrange my box. I have 10, 12 people coming this afternoon. Okay, we gotta delete this app. <sighs> what is going on? Yeah, what the hell? We are teaching Riley self-defense. Though, we taught Riley how to get out of chokehold and she flips Sergey into the wall. There is hole in wall, but I am okay. Oh my god, Riley, are you okay? I'm okay. No worries about hole in wall. I have 12 people to come help with Renos anyway. Yeah, wait, no, no, no. Okay, Riley, have fun at Chuckle Chad's. See you, Chad. Bye, Mom. Oh, yeah, I just had one question. Already gone. St <sighs> All right, Riley, what do you want to do? Can we do self-defense? Self-defense? Oh, all right, yeah, cool, cool. I did a couple karate classes back in the day, so I can show you some moves. Misha and Sergey taught me. Misha and Sergey? Pfft, whatever, all right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to lay down a scenario, okay? Okay. I'm a stranger. I'm walking up behind you, okay? You don't know I'm here. I go around you like this, okay? Now here's what you do, you- <gasps> Oh my god, Riley! Zoe! Oh no, little dude, that was friggin' awesome! Okay. Wait, why is- why is there two of you? Hey, you two, I'm back. What are you doing, Chad? What's up, Janet? Uh... Are you- you made blueberry pancakes on Tuesday? I... What? I'm seeing constellations, man. I think he might be a concussed. Oh, wait, what?! I can't believe we're actually going to this Honky Tonks party. Lighten up, Janet. At least we get free food and booze. She doesn't even drink. Really? This party's going to suck. Hi, ladies. Come on in. Oh, hey, Chad. Hey, Courtney. You invited who? Oh, my God. So, fam, you know my girlfriend, Courtney? Hey, guys. No pictures, please. <laughs> you invited them? Yeah, I thought it would be fun. And I told you don't bring your kids. Oh, really? Hey, yo. Oh, it's fine. Just come on in. Okay, y'all, so I thought it'd be fun to have a murder mystery party. Murder? What are terms and conditions? Ooh, I love murder mystery. I did this once when I was at Jessica Elvis house. Um, nobody cares. Okay, so the rules are... Oh, who turned out the lights? Uh, <gasps> Courtney!
Courtney, no! Oh my god. Riley, you okay? I'm okay. This wasn't the plan. What happened? I thought this was part of the game. Trini, you killed Courtney? No, just unconscious. Probably. Oh my god. Can you get me a glass of water? <sighs> yeah, one sec. Thank you. Hi, Mom. <gasps> Can you put on Frozen on my iPad, please? Now? Please. Fine. Thank you. Hey, Mom. Hmm? Can I please have a snack? Yeah, I'll get you a snack. Okay, thank you. Hey, Mom. What, Riley? What, what, what? I just wanted to tell you that I love you. I love you, too. And can we also go to McDonald's for chicken nuggies? No, we are not going to McDonald's. Oh my god, she fainted. Ow! <laughs> you good? Yeah, now that you kicked me in the side, I am so much better. Thank you. I can't believe Courtney's dead. Like I said, she's unconscious. She's not dead. Katrina, how could you? She said there was a murder mystery party and there was no rules. No, Katrina, I was about to explain the rules. And then, and who turned out the lights before Katrina killed Courtney? Yeah, that's true. Who did it? It wasn't me. Lights are all the way on the other side of the room. I was an Olympic athlete, but it was in shot put, not running. Okay, then it was Janet. You hated Courtney, and you and Katrina have this weird, intimate friendship thing. Hey, hey, listen, I hated Courtney more than anybody in here, but I wouldn't go to jail for her. Well, who is that leave? Okay, it was me. Riley, why? I heard her call you and Katrina a bad mom. <laughs> that bitch! Now I don't feel so bad. How could you, Courtney? We're going to need some vodka. Who's that? I told you, Grandma's coming over to babysit. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, oh, or you could just let yourself in. You know, you should really be locking your doors. And hello to you too, Ma. I heard on the television that there's one of those crazy serial killers around. Oh, really, here? Not well, a couple states over, but still. You really gotta stop watching so much Dateline, Ma. Okay, I'm heading out. You two behave. Don't talk to anybody with a mustache. Noted. What are we doing today, Riley? Can we watch a movie? Yeah, you ever seen Goodfellas? I don't think so. What? We gotta get some candy, too. Mom said no candy. Well, Ma's not here. You know us here. So let's do it. Hey, I'm back. Did you guys have fun? I want to be a gangster. Gangster? Ma, what did I say about Goodfellas? I thought she could use some culture. She's three years old, Ma. And? Hey, yo. Hey, is your mom here? Yeah. Yeah, my car broke down and I need to borrow a phone. Okay, Mom. We don't want your girl guide cookies. Hey, sorry to bother you, but my car broke down and I can't get a signal on my phone. Wait, Dr. Phil? Oh, hey, listen, I'm as surprised to be here as you are, but I, I just need to borrow a phone. Yeah, yeah, of course. We just gotta wait for Riley to finish watching Frozen. Seriously? That's a two-hour movie. I mean, could I maybe borrow it now? Fine. Riley, I'll take you to McDonald's if you give Dr. Phil the phone. No. I, I don't want to tell you how to be a mother, but don't bribe the child. I mean, that'll never work. Trust me. Did I ask for a therapy session, Dr. Riley, come on. I bet you're not even a real doctor. Oh, wow. Um, you got your hands full. I tell you what, I'll just either walk or talk to your neighbors or something. Never mind. Good luck to you. Is everybody ready? Ready to go, Janet. Why could Trina get the front seat? I called shotgun. Duh, and if you try to argue with me, I will use a real shotgun. Jeez, can I at least have the aux cord? Why, so you can listen to Smash Mouth and Nickelback the entire ride? Don't you speak like that about Chad Kruger, okay? Chad's gotta stick together. Mom, can we watch a movie? Duh, I would very much like to watch Red Sparrow. Is that appropriate? Yes, yes, very educational. It is about a Russian ballerina that gets recruited into a Russian intelligence service and needs to use her body as a weapon. No. Then can we please watch Frozen 2? No, Riley, I am not listening to that soundtrack. Please! I am putting my foot down. No. I'm proud of you, Janet. That's it, I'm pulling the car off. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming to Courtney's funeral. Wait, is that the girl that runs a mommy toddler daycare group? Duh. Wait. Man, I can't believe you killed Courtney. Allegedly. Yeah, okay.
You're drinking water? Spicy water. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. Chad, why aren't you wearing black? What? Oh, I forgot. There we go. Thank you. Look at her, she was just so young. Oh no, she was my first kiss. You're 27. Leave me alone, Riley. Oh, hey. <gasps> Did she just breathe? Oh, the good lord is here. Courtney, babe, are you alive? I will wake her up. No, I got this. Courtney, they're gonna take a picture of your bad side. <gasps> no! Oh my god. She's dead for sure. Oh my god. All right, movie time. Can we watch Frozen? No, I do not have enough wine in this house to make it through that movie. How about a Star Wars movie? What Star Wars? It's some stupid movie where a bunch of wizards run around with laser swords and they all have daddy issues. Hey, Riley, why don't you tell your mom that it's a flawless cinematic masterpiece? Okay, mom, dad says it. Riley, how about you tell your father I was the one that made dinner and cleaned it up so I should be the one that picks the movie? Um, dad, mom says that. Hey, Riley, why don't you tell your mom about the dent I found on the side of our car today? Hey, over. Okay, I think your phone is ringing. I think you should pick it up. Okay. I'm just gonna eat some chicken nuggies while I wait. Hey, oh. I think you should pick your phone up. Boys? 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 Okay. It's gonna go to voicemail. Ready to meet the rest of Katrina's family? Okay. All right. Hello, Janet Riley. Come on in. You obviously already know Misha and Sergey. Hello. Hello, Riley. Hi, guys. I'm gonna go play with Misha and Sergey. Yeah, go have fun. So, who is everybody? Well, first off, the freak of the family, Boris, my cousin. What makes him a freak? He has water in his cup. Fair enough. Next, we have my cousin, Svetlana. Hello. Hey, I'm Janet. And this is James. Hello, I'm James. You're English? Her husband. I know. What's this saucy minx doing with me? My looks, obviously. He's got a lot of money. Well. Yeah, so finally my mother, Ingrid. Oh, pleasure to meet you, Ingrid. She does not speak English. Vodka? Timmy and Ravisha. I'm so sorry, I don't- I don't- Oh, she actually likes you. Okay. Hey, Ma. Hey, did I come at the wrong time? No, you here at the right time. You look terrible, did you just wake up? No, I did not just wake up, but thank you, Ma. Hey, oh, no, no. Hey, my little ravioli, what you got? I mean the dino nuggies. Oh, I read an article on the Facebooks that those dino nuggies give you the cancer. Can you not, Ma? Hey, I'm just the messenger, okay? Oh, and there was this very attractive international angry woman at the end of your driveway. What? Oh, no, that's Katrina. I invited her over. Oh, hey, Katrina. Oh. Hello, Janet. Are you two, uh... Ma, no! Hey, I don't know. I just want you to know I'm very hip. I'm very now. Noted. Uh, Katrina, my Ma, Ma, Katrina. Oh, здравствуйте. Oh, Russian, wow. You know, my therapist just told me I need to start letting loose a little bit more, so you're welcome at my home anytime. I hear you Russians know how to party. Ma! What? I will be sure to bring vodka. Oh, I like her. Are you done? <sighs> oh, I'll take a vodka crayon. Coming right out, miss. Uh, have it a beer, mate. I don't, I don't like the taste. You trying to pick up women here? Yeah. On the house. Okay. Sob. Ew, go away. Yeah, okay, yeah, for sure. Hi, mate. Mind if I give you some advice? I mean, I don't know, like, whatever. Right, you want to make them think? You're not interested. All right, watch this. Hi there, Sheila. That's a nice dress. Oh, thank you. Hand me down from your grandma? Uh, <laughs> no, you pull it off. <laughs> Stop. See? Now you try. Okay. Hey. <laughs> what? Oh, your eyes are kind of close together. Excuse me? Okay, now compliment. Yeah, oh, uh, you look like you have childbearing hips. No, I think it wasn't it. What the hell? I think it worked. We'll work on it. Are you kidding me? I... Are you kidding me? Uh, you know what? Whatever, Roger. You know, whatever. Forget about it, alright? 
Don't forget the body, Roger. Fuck. Fuck. No. No. Mote. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ma, I'm kind of busy right now. Can I call you back? Okay. okay bye. What? No. Give it back to mommy, okay? Oh, no! Oh, fuck! No! Hey, get out of my way, you little baby. Look at those dumb, tiny little hands. The only baby here is you. Oh yeah, how's that? Because in 45 seconds you'll be screaming for mommy. I don't think so. Madam, what's your name? Riley. I'm Timmy, what's up? How dare you shame Riley, this tiny-handed princess! Princess? You low-born, acrid slime of the Kraken's maw! How about I just beat you both up? Riley, we must fight back! Use your words! Be the princess you are! Wait, Elsa from Frozen? Yeah! I am Elsa! I am Frozen, here I stand! Stop it. This tundra of ice will quake your fate. You musty, dusty clown. I'm not musty! Why do you bully the tiny sir? Who bullies you? Mommy! Huzzah! Okay. Yeah! All right, ready for your sleepover at Chad's? Yeah. Great. Salt, Janet, everybody's already here. Hey, Janet, so excited for girls' night. All right, you boys behave. Will do. All right. Hey, Carol. Yeah, let's get the show on the road. Let's go, Katrina. All right, I'm coming. All right, bye, boys. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye. And Chad, the only reason I want to hear from you is if somebody is dying or dead. Okay. All right, have fun, boys. All right, little dudes, what do you guys want to do first? Can we practice our self-defense? No, oh, I think it would be very educational. For sure, I could show you some moves. You guys want to do that, too? Okay. We love to watch a good fight. I'm putting five bucks on the Russians. All right, you and me, Misha. Okay, I'm gonna put my arm around you like this. Sergey, now! <gasps> oh, what? Riley, get his feet! Okay. <gasps> <sighs> Whoops. Is he waving? Yeah, he's breathing. I got his phone. <phone rings> Chad, somebody better be dead or Chad is unconscious. It Wait, what? So you have kids? Da, I have two boys. Misha and Sergey. And you like being a mother? Yeah, it's pretty easy compared to what I used to do. And what was that? Well, my first job was pretty confidential, but I was recruited to... I probably shouldn't talk about it. My second job was when I came to America and became ultimate group fitness instructor. This is absolutely pathetic, ladies, let's go! Come on, quicker, quicker! If you don't start to move quicker, Tracy, your husband will leave you for a 20-year-old woman who has more holes for him than Swiss cheese. Let's go. Dig deeper, let's go! I don't care that you're nine months pregnant, Sharon. If I don't see baby's head coming out, I don't want to hear excuses. I got how you say laid off for whatever reason. So when did you decide to become a mother? After I got laid off, I went to bar, and then a nice Russian gentleman got me a drink. We hit it off, I drank him under the table, it was a good time. Then boom, Misha Sergei, I have a drinking problem, and my husband is nowhere to be found. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it is best life. All right, Riley, go play. Okay. What an idiot. Riley? Riley? Fucking TikTok. Riley? No, Car Karen, it's fine, okay? Focus on your own kid, he's eating sand. Riley? Shit. I am not gonna be on a Dateline episode. <laughs> oh my god, Riley? Hi, Mom! <laughs> you stupid little shit, you scared the shit out of me. I found a dog. What? That's not a dog, that's a dire wolf. Can we keep him? No, it's probably somebody else's dog. But he has no taller, and everyone says he's a stray. <sighs> oh, shit. No. Please? No. Please, look at him! Alright, ready for your play date with Misha and Sergey? Okay! Alright. Oh, hello, Janet. Riley, come on in. You remember my mother, Ingrid? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ingrid, how you doing? No English, remember? Oh, right, right. Uh, does she always look that pissed off? Zamochi. What did she say? She says you're beautiful. Yeah, for some reason, I don't believe you. Привет, бабушка. Hmm. Wait, how the hell do you know Russian? We have been teaching Riley Russian. 
Da, she absorbs language like tiny little yellow square cartoon men on TV. Yellow square cartoon? You mean Spongebob? Da. Oh, she absorbs like a sponge. I see, I see what you did there. Yeah. Ona mi nravinsi ya. Da, ya toje. Katrina, ya hachu yeast. What? Ya toje. Ya poedu. Everybody stop speaking Russian. Idiot. So you can speak English. No, that is just Russian for idiot. Oh, you want to go, Babush? Oh my god, I'm gonna be here forever. <sighs> what are you... Oh god. Oh. Her face is funny. Thank you. You look sad. Where is your mom? I don't like your pants. You know what? You have mommy issues. At least my mom didn't abandon me. Your mom probably doesn't even love you. <laughs> no, shut, shut up, shut up. Hey, you make my kid cry? She started it. Oh, you wanna go? You know what? I don't need this. I'm getting out of this line, okay? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice job. Move up. Mama needs a new iPhone. Okay. So you're gonna take me home? Mm-hmm. How do you know my mom? Uh, we're old friends. Okay. Do you have any snacks? No, I don't have any snacks. Well, can we stop and get some nuggies? We are not stopping anywhere, okay? Just shut up. Well, then I at least have an iPad to watch Frozen. No. Please? You can't! But every day after school, my mom picks me up. As he gives me my iPad and my headphones. And she tells me to shut up and put my headphones in, so... I shut up! Well, then we always play I Spy. <sighs> Fine. I Spy something blue. I don't know, the air conditioning? Nope. The sky? The police car right beside us. The what? <laughs> oh, shit. Nice toy, my mom only has one friend. Have fun at chance, kids. Ah, we will be back later. Cool, yeah, just one question. Okay. So what do you little dudes want to do? How about we tell some scary stories? Oh, sick, for sure. Riley, you down? Okay. Cool, we'll set the scene. Okay, I'll go first. So there is this guy, we'll call him Brad. And his mom is being kind of sus, asking him when he's going to move out. Which I think is kind of bogus, because Brad... Well, how old is this Brad? Well, he's 27, but like... That's pretty old. I agree with Riley. You know what? Never mind. You guys suck. I'll go. And I will tell you the tale of Baba Yaga. <gasps> like Baby Yoda. There's nothing like Baby Yoda. Okay. Baba Yaga is a foul witch who lives in the woods in her hut that moves on bird's legs and she hunts and eats humans. <gasps> and her favorite are children. Oh, thank God. I'm 27. Y'all are witch bait. She also likes 27-year-old freeloaders. What? So you said our mother is at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she was in a car accident. Hmm. Is she alright? I'm sure she'll be fine. She just asked me to take you guys home. So you drive minivan? Yeah, so? But have no kids? <sighs> no. No ring? Can't find husband? You know what? Probably because she's past her prime. Yeah. This is not even worth it. I'm stopping the car, okay? Get out. We know what you're trying to do. What? Our mother has no car and she thinks hospitals are a waste of time. Well, what are you going to do about it? You have a cell phone? No, I am too young for a cell phone. It is pager. Oh, and who are you going to page? Our mother, about 45 seconds ago. Well, I don't see your mom anywhere. I wouldn't make any sudden movements if I were you. What? Oh, shit. Ulte, bye! If you knew what I was doing, why did you stay in the car? Chase call got cancelled and we were bored. Have fun in jail. You know you don't have to uppercut my nose to wake me up? Zoe. What do you want? It feels like it's the middle of the night. It's... It's 3.30. Yeah. Why are you up at the witching hour? You come in here to give me an exorcism? What are you doing up? I did something. What did you do? I made it to the bathroom. Oh, that's really good, honey. That's, that's really good. Did you remember the flush? I made it to the bathroom, but not the toilet. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you five bucks. You're gonna go wake up your father, and we never had this conversation, okay? Okay, where's the money? Okay, calm down, El Capone. Here's your money, okay? Get out of here. Okay, thank you. Boys!
Oh my god, Riley, we are in a public park and I am hungover. I don't have time for this. Excuse me, can I just get past? Yeah, back off, but Dr. Phil? Man, I could really use your help right now. She's not listening. Oh, well, I wasn't really on duty, but uh, I can tell you this. You don't want to give in to a tantrum. Don't reward bad behavior, that's for sure. Janet, it is simple. Simply pick her up by ear and throw her in car. What? I, I, I really don't think that's the best advice. Oh, because you know everything, Dr. Phil? All due respect, are those your little thugs over there bullying an adult? What? You need training wheels, you big baby? I remember when I was two. I have a balance deficiency. It's a real thing. Sir, do you need some help? <laughs> Wait, Dr. Phil? Are you saying I'm not good mother? Do you want to go, Dr. Phil? Now nah, you've done it. Hey, look, I, I don't want an international incident here. I'm just trying to get by. I, I, I need to go. W whatever. That's what I thought. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mommy Toddler Time Daycare. How's everybody doing? I'll go first. I have some big news. I'm doing very good. Thank you for asking. Nisha knitted me new toque. It's ox blood red. My favorite color. Uh, you interrupted me, <laughs> Katrina, uh, like I was saying. Hey, how's everybody doing? Janet, you interrupt. <sighs> Janet, what did I say about drinking in here? I don't know what you're talking about. You Riley, did mommy drink? Yeah, but we were responsible and we took the bus. See? I'm a good mom. It Carol, what did you have to say? Thank you. I was saying that I have officially adopted Diamond. Diamond? Why does that ring a bell? Hi there. Holy Mother Mary of God, I thought she was dead. Wait, what? No, Janet, you're lost in sauce. I killed her mother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rip the Courtney. Wait, what? Hi, is everybody ready for class? Okay. Da. Da. Okay, well, today we're doing addition, and question one is for Riley. Riley, what is three plus three? Thirty-three. Uh, no, so three. Uh-huh, plus three. Glasses. Uh, no, okay, we'll come back to you, okay? Uh, Misha, question two is six plus six. Twelve. Wait, how did you... Question three, what is twelve plus twelve? A what? It is twenty-four. How do you guys know the questions already? You should really look into getting better firewall. Doc, getting into your computer this morning was piece of pie. What? I, you guys didn't see anything else though, right? No, just lesson plans. Okay. <laughs> and an open web browser to sugarbaby.com. Okay, and we're done. Class dismissed? Let's move. Misha, Sergey. What is the meaning of this ridiculous high-pitched scream? I see no blood. Your stupid, reckless little boys just hit my angel hunter in the face with a snowball. <laughs> and your name is... Karen. Ah. Misha, Sergei, you have exactly one opportunity to tell me what happened to Hunter. Simple. Sergei and I had constructed bunkers on either side of the field. And we blew air horn as to one of the children that this was now hotspot and epic snow battle was about to commence. In heat of snowball battle with Sergei and I, Hunter snuck past our barriers and simply got hit by crossfire. Simple explanation. Your child is incompetent. You little monsters. So you're just raising future criminals. I think only crime here is naming your son Hunter. Should be Pylon or Sitting Duck. <sighs> you know what? What are you going to do, Karen? There's no managers out here. For anyone new, let's go through them. First off, we got Janet. Hey, how you doing? And then we have her daughter, Riley. Heyo! And Riley has an uncle named Chad. A solo bit! Janet has a husband named Roger and a Russian best friend named Katrina. Thank you, Janet. Привет. And Katrina has two twin boys named Misha and Sergey. Hello. Hello. Janet also has a mother who we call Nona. Are we getting paid to do this? And Katrina has a mother named Ingrid, aka Babushka, who only speaks Russian. Astoche. Janet and Katrina also have a southern friend named Carol. Oh, it's so nice to meet ya. <laughs> Carol has two boys named Buddy in Texas. That's right. You got it. Carol also recently adopted Diamond. Hi there. Diamond's original mother, Courtney. Where's my Tumblr? Is now dead because Katrina killed her. Allegedly. And then we have my nosy neighbor, Deborah. She said it again, Tom! 12-year-old Twilight version of me. My mom. I made her. The mommy toddler daycare lady, Amy. Hi, everybody. My dog. <laughs> and a couple newer characters, including Aussie bartender. Hi, I gone. And Karen and her son, Hunter. Can I speak to your manager? <sighs> hey, everybody, welcome back to class. I have your test results, and, and Riley, we're, we're gonna start with you, okay? Unfortunately... You failed. What? How? No. Oh, how is this possible? Well, for question one, for example, eight plus eight, you put two Olafs. 
Yeah, because there's two snowmen. It's still wrong. I How dare you? Riley is absolute prodigy. You are just too small-minded to appreciate her genius. No. It is not her fault she has beautiful mind and face that you cannot understand. Okay. What? She is absolutely beautiful inside and out. You will pass her. No, I can't do that. You will, because she is like sister to us. Da, she is like very important to me. I can't just pass. I have hacked into your computer and found Tinder. I am messaging back big D69. Stop. Okay, you pass, Riley. Oh, okay, thank you. Thanks for watching the kids in grid. Da, do свидания, mama. It in the bush now. Привет, бабушка. Привет. Okay, Riley, what would you like to do? Uh, <gasps> let's play pretend knights. <gasps> and I should be the princess. You are my princess. What? Da, what did you say? Nothing. Um, uh, we could play truth or dare. Okay. Okay, since you're first out of womb, you go first, Misha. Okay. Riley, truth or dare? Truth. Do you have any crush on anybody in this room? Uh, what's that? That is Jezebel, an ancient family heirloom that you cannot touch or else it will possess and hunt anyone near. I'm gonna touch it. No, Riley, don't! Hold my hand! <laughs> Suckers. Riley, can you go grab the shreddy cereal? Okay! <sighs> no. Please! No, when you eat sugar, you turn into a cracked out sugar high spawn of Satan. Go get the shreddies. But the shreddies taste like sticks. Then I guess you're gonna eat sticks. All right, let's go check out. All right, help me put stuff up. Okay. Wait, what was that? Uh, Frosted Flakes? Riley? She makes me sticks at home. What? No, I do Just put the Frosted Flakes in, please. Thank you. Due to your online teacher putting in many complaints about you guys, she is now taking leave of absence, and I will be her replacement. Any questions? Okay, I have a question. Go ahead, Riley. There is no such thing as stupid question. Are you in love? Stupid question. Misha. I am. You are what? In love. I don't care. We're supposed to be learning spelling right now. Spelling. S-P-E-L-L-I-N-G. Not the word spelling, Sergey. Well, then I will spell this. Riley. Huh? I-L-O-V-E-Y-O-U. Wizard! Incorrect! It spells I love. Enough! Now I know I have a teacher left, but you're with Katrina now, so S H U T U P. Unicorn! Dear God. Riley? Yeah? Screen time is over. No, put it back on! No, you're done. But I just want to see the ending. This isn't an M. Night Shyamala movie. There's no alternate ending or twist, okay? You've seen it a hundred times. Please! Spoiler alert, everybody lives, and moral of the story is many shit. Please? Go to your room until sup is ready. <coughs> I'm just gonna run away. <coughs> I can't take you, Pete. I done bad for you. <laughs> I hate it here. Riley Dan is ready. What is it? Dino Nuggies. Damn it. Alright, have fun at Chad's kids. Da, goodbye, little ones. Okay, bye. Bye, mom. Goodbye. See you guys, y'all. I just had one question. So, where are we going? What is this new bar in town? Great, I could use a drink. This place is nice. Da, they have drinks on special. Great. Janet, huh? Is that drink on special? Really? Him? Shut up, let's get a drink. Hey, uh, two vodka crayons. No crayon. Yeah, all right, coming right up. So you're from down under. Yeah, you know what they say about down under? 
that you are below average? Katrina. Sorry. Did you underperform? <laughs> Where are you from? Mother Russia. Funny accent, I couldn't pick that up. Probably because your IQ is down under. Katrina. Count some more. <sighs> Mom, guess what? You got another bottle of wine? No, I washed the tooth. That's great, honey. You gotta remember to put your tooth under the pillow and then you get a dollar from the tooth fairy. Will we? Yeah. But hey. He wasn't me, officer. Mom. What? The tooth fairy didn't take my tooth or give me a dollar. The what? Oh, shit. Maybe he forgot. He forgot me? No, no. Actually, I remember. He called me last night and just said he was really busy. He's too busy for me? No. I oh, look. He just texted me and he said, and he said, you can give me your tooth and I'll give you a dollar on his behalf, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. And the wait fee? Wait fee? What are you, the IRS? Yeah. Take a five. Get out of here. Okay, thank you. Scoot over. You drank some of this while I was gone? No. Yeah. Who's that? It's your Nona. She's coming to babysit you. Come in. Oh, my God. I said come in. Oh, my hearing's not what it used to be. It's fine. You're wearing pajama pants, Ma. No one? Oh. I knew that. Did you go to the doctors like I told you to? I did. I don't remember what he said, but he's very handsome. You're married, Ma. I know, but now that your husband's out of the picture, I was just thinking that you and Dr. Stooley could get the- Ma, stop! Hey, oh, no, no. Hello, my little ravioli. What's new? I drank some of Mom's spicy juice. Spicy? You drank the last of my wine? That'll put hair in your chest. Ma! Oh, that's fine. We used to put whiskey in your mouth when you were teething to help you stop crying. That explains so much. All right, I'm afraid to ask, but what do you guys like to do? We like chess. Ah, and sports. Oh, okay, that's actually a lot more tame than I thought. Uh, what kind of sports do you like to do? Self-defense, archery. There it is. Okay, um, yeah, any, any, other, any other activities like arts and crafts or anything? Ah, we do arts and crafts with mother all the time. You're telling me Katrina does arts and crafts? There's got to be a catch. Ah, the art of shank making. There it is. Okay, how is that even a thing? You can make shanks out of anything, basically. Why is she teaching you how to make shanks? She wants us to be prepared for any situation. Ah, like you could make a shank out of a hairbrush, toothbrush, mop, a broom. Da, dustpan, bucket, lint roller. Oh yeah, great, okay, okay. I'll take that into account next time I'm getting mugged in a utility closet. Well, don't come crying to us when it happens. So a broom, you say, all right. All right, Riley. What is it you like to do? I like to watch Frozen. Besides watching Frozen. Eat Dino I think Dino Nuggies is not hobby. I got nothing. Well, we're going to have to change that. Do you like sports? No. What? You don't like running? No. Martial arts? No. Archery? Crossbow? No. Skiing? Skydiving? No. Chess? Nope. What else do kids do? Drinking? I'm four. Well... I like tea. Tea? Like drink? Tea like. Are you in love with my mom? T what does that have to do with anything? You just spilled it. Spilled what? The tea. What tea? We do have some new ones, so run it. First off, we have Janet and her daughter Riley, and Janet's twin sister Marie, and their mother Nona. Are we doing this again? Then we have Riley's uncle Chad, Janet's Russian best friend Katrina, spicy juice, and her sons Misha and Sergey, and her mother Ingrid slash Babushka, who only speaks Russian. She has cousins Boris and Svetlana, and Svetlana is married to James. She's with me because I'm rich. Yeah. And then we have Janet's friend Carol and her sons Buddy and Texas, and her adopted daughter Diamond. We have Ozzy Bartender, who is yet to be named, and the kid's teacher slash daycare lady, Amy. Hi, everybody. Then we have Chris's nosy neighbor, Deborah, and her husband, Tom. And I had to add a Karen. Can I speak to your manager? And her son, Hunter. Uh. The new English nanny, Natalie. And the 20-something grunge chick, Bex. And then we have the southern scout leader, Boone. Maggie. And assistant to the scout leader, Walter. 
Lastly, my mom, my dog, and finally, 12-year-old Twilight version of me. Pass it over here! Ulti! Way to go, Butterfingers! Don't you dare speak to Riley that way. Sorry. How are we gonna get it back? I don't wanna get my feet wet. I shall sacrifice my own feet for you, my angelic princess. Wait, what is that music? What are you doing? Oh, yeah, uh, thanks to my vessies, I can get that no problem for you. Your feet! Ain't no thing, chicken wang. These are 100% waterproof. Wow! I could have done that. Yeah, boy? You can cry in my shoes, I won't feel your tears. Boy, it again! Riley, if I play that Frozen soundtrack one more time, I'm gonna lose my mind. Boys! No. Boys! No, you know what? You're actually gonna listen to music that I like. No! It's music that I like, but it's the kids' version, so you're gonna like it too. I'm listening. It's the kids' pop all-time greatest hits album. It's their 20th birthday. Give them a chance. <sighs> okay. Okay. Thank you for watching, boys, Janet. Anytime. Have fun at your, uh, family meeting. I don't even want to know what goes on there. Okay, I'm going to go set up the perfect date in Riley's room. You need to distract her. On it. What's up? Where's Misha? He is constipated. Are they? What would you like to do? Let's play Legos in my room. No! Because I hate Legos. Are they? Why are you so weird? Oh. Is it because you like me? No. Does I like Misha? Okay. We're good. Come on. I changed my mind about the Legos. Let's go play. Okay. <gasps> Welcome to your frozen kingdom, Princess Riley. I have frozen one and two ready to play and fresh no nuggies. Did my mom do this? N no. Then she never does stuff like this. That was your mom. <sighs> I'm glad you're not constipated anymore. What? Thank you for coming to Babysitter Interview. What are your qualifications? I have five years experience as a nanny and an early childhood education degree. I'm an assistant scout leader and I have every safety badge you can think of. I got some free time. Since when are you doing interviews? Why do you want this job? I love children. I like demanding respect from my inferiors. I need the money. This is my job! Have you broken any laws? Of course not. You see this badge? Most likely to not break a law. You want like how many or... Seriously? Do you drink? <laughs> Disgusting. Only when I smoke. We drink together all the time. Scenario, an intruder comes in while you're here. Uh, call 911. Assuming I've already mapped out all the exits, we would escape through the nearest exit and call the authorities immediately. I just tased the guy. Are you seriously gonna give away my job? Great, you've got the job. Welcome to hell. Hey ma, we're here. Hi, Nona. Hello, my little ravioli. You look terrible. Nice to see you too, Ma. You know, I was just watching the television and they're saying that closing your eyes, breathing a lot, and pretending you don't have any problems is really good for your mind and your physical appearance. Closing your eyes and pretend. You mean meditation? I don't know what the kids are calling it, but you need to start doing it. Thanks, Ma. I'm here. Oh, Marie, you look beautiful. Really? What have you been up to, my little tortellini? Oh, you know, just working. I actually have a new gallery show with all my paintings coming up. You guys should come. Can I paint something for the show? Sure. Okay. You were just amazing. Sometimes I can't believe you came out of me. We both came out of you, Ma. Two minutes apart. Oh, don't be salty. I'm the better twin, Janet. It's not your fault. The first pancake always comes out a little burnt and lumpy. <laughs> Ma! What is true? She's talking about the order of us being born. Oh. Well. Ma! Have fun at day camp, kids. Duh, and remember, wolves smell fear. Take care now. All right, you little maggots. I'm Scout Leader Boone. This here's my assistant to the Scout Leader Walter.
I will only answer the Sir Walter or Superior Leader. Alright, now which one of you thinks baby cub bears are cute? So you see a cute little cub, you might go up to it, maybe even pet it, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Now you're dead. Mama bear at you for lunch like a cheap 7-Eleven three-day-old taquito. Not if I was there. What did you say, make it? Pfft, then what would you do if you ran into an aggressive female adult grizzly? I would not run, I would avoid direct eye contact, I would wave my hands in the air to make me appear larger than I actually am. If it was approaching at 25 feet away, I would probably get my bear- Hold up! I'm impressed, boy. Walter, give him a beware bear badge. <sighs> Lucky guess. <laughs> so to celebrate episode 100, I thought we could interview a few characters for the series. Thank you for your assistance. You got it! Bring him in! Hello, I'm Natalie. Hi Natalie, and what's your thing? Yes, of course, I'm- Are you a Disney princess? No, I'm a nanny. Can you be a Disney princess? Um... Oh my god, I'm scared to ask. What's your name? Bethany. Oh well, I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. But you can call me Bex. It's two X's. There it is. My Wiker! <laughs> and you are... Scout Leader Boone. And I'm here to whip these kids into shape. And who's that? I'm Assistant Scout Leader Walter. Ah, assistant to the scout leader. Wow. I see potential! Okay, wow, that was... Hi. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we were done. Um, and you are? Marie, Janet's sister. I smell the drama already. Totally. So you can help me with my girl problems? That's right. So what is your secret? First, have a sexy accent. I have more sexy accent. Next. Can you say so? Next is the insult compliment technique. What? Watch. Oi! Hmm? What are you, late 30s, early 40s? Listen here, buddy! I like an older woman. <laughs> I could be 40. See, so, you now you try. Hello, miss. You look sad and lonely. Uh, but you look like you can afford a therapy, so... What? Sorry about that. Um, tell me something your girl likes. Okay, well, she likes, um... She likes Frozen. Da, and, um, Nuggies. Nuggies? I know Nuggies, to be exact. This is for me, Sergei. Maybe you should pay a little bit more attention to her. Maybe you should mind your own business. Maybe you should- Oi, oi, enough! Where your mums? <laughs> hey, boys, look, Janet is wearing my hat. I look, I'm a Russian spy. <laughs> Where did you hear this information? I didn't, I was just- Okay. You know, you could've left the boys with Nona and Riley. Well, they could use some American culture. At a bar? Well... How you even gonna get them in? Oh, my cousin Boris is the bouncer. Really? Da, Boris, let us in. Katrina, I cannot let boys in. Boris, need I remind you of family saying? <sighs> family first, don't ask questions later. Great, now move. It's a slightly concerning family saying. Alright, boys, wait at bar. We're going to go hustle some drinks. All day. All day. Oh, I might, but no one alcoholic drinks can I start for you. I'll have a white Russian. Just hold the vodka and liqueur and eat chocolate syrup. Right, so chocolate milk? Da, make it a double. Yep. Just extra chocolate syrup. He's having girl problems. Oh, well, you came to the right place to get advice. What are your credentials? Watch this. Oi! Huh? <laughs> See? Keep talking. I'm coming. What the f- What are you doing here so early? It's 2 p.m. Oh shit, really? Still, what are you doing here with the spawn of Satan? Hi there. Oh, I thought it'd be fun if Riley and Diamond had a play date. <laughs> you know what else is fun, Carol? Cliff diving off Mount Everest. There's no water on Mount Everest. <laughs> That's the point. Whatever. Come in, Diamond. Okay, have fun. Riley's in a bedroom. I'm going back to bed. Don't bug me. Fine, whatever. <sighs> I'm here. Oh, hi, Diamond. So, what do you do for fun? I'm building the Death Star with Wagos right now. Wame. Wash Frozen? Super wame. I like a boy. <gasps> you need to make over. I don't feel like I need- Shut up. Give me your hands. Okay. Okay, all done. You guys want some virgin mimosa? Oh my god. Hi, mom. You don't think people talk about us enough already? You gotta make my daughter look like a cheap hooker? Yeah, whatever, whatever. The mimosas are in the kitchen. Guys? What's up? What's going on? What's going on, Chris? They're saying that you're all me. <laughs> no, that's crazy. We're here. We're your friends. Yeah, we've always been here. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. I just... It might be probable, though. What? 
we all kind of signify your issues or aspirations? That doesn't even make sense. A possible coping mechanism? <laughs> so you're saying I want to be Russian toddlers or a depressed mom with addiction issues? Like... <laughs> oh shit. No, no, because I, I don't have kids. I don't think that is the point. How about you? You're just some random Russian mom. Like... I have confidence you wish you had. What about your mom? I don't even speak Russian. You're fine, Chris. Hi, it's all good, honey. No, guys, come on. We're here. Come here. Stop! Thanks for watching, Riley Ma. Yeah, no problem, but you better pay me good because 5 o'clock on Wednesdays is usually when me and your father spice it up in the bedroom. I don't need to hear that, Ma. I'm joking. Thank God. About paying me. You don't need to pay me. Okay, I'm out of here. You going out dressed like that? Yes. Is that a problem? No. Just don't be surprised if somebody tries to give you money while you're walking on the street. Okay, goodbye, Ma. Hello, my little ravioli. How you doing? I think I'm stuck in a love triangle. Oh, you just like your Nona. I had all the guys fighting after me. What's the problem? I like a boy, but his brother likes me. Oh my god, it's like a telenovela. Tell me more. I don't know what to do. Listen, my little Noki, you don't need a man, but if you want a man, you need to make the first move because they're all idiots. Okay. Okay, repeat back what I just said. Make the first move. Mm-hmm, and? Cause all men are idiots. And that's today's known as life lesson. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who's everybody's unofficial favorite. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who's never kissed a woman before. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who could take a bear in a fight but can't talk about her feelings. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody that takes all innocent but has many dark unfathomable secrets. Thank you. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who's 100% an alcoholic and absolutely needs an intervention. I already did. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody we're all terrified of. I start you. I got it, mama. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody that probably should be in the mental institution. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who has absolutely no filter. I got a colonoscopy today. What? I oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who carries this entire operation. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody I think has a crush on me. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody that has a crush on Riley. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody who has no friends, so she needs to create them. Oh, fun! What are we doing? Guys? Sup, Katrina? Boys? Hello, Chad. I need you to babysit boys. No, no! You know what? I'm putting my foot down. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it anymore. Let me ask you this. Do you know how to sleep with one eye open? Why would I need to know how to sleep with one eye open? Use your imagination. Oh, okay, boys, come on in! Kilo! Kilo! So when will you be back? Cool. Chad, we have some very important things to talk about. Listen, I was already getting threatened by your mom today. I don't need this from you two. No, you are mistaken. I have confessed my love to Riley. Da, ah, and he would like your assistance in constructing the best date ever, since you claim to be such a ladies' man. Oh, yeah. Uh, ladies' man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm honored. <laughs> You've been on lots of dates, right? <laughs> yeah, like... One or two? What was that? Like one and a half, okay? It was set up by my mom. I'm a fraud. My whole life is a lie, maybe man. should help him first. Like white claws that much, man. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys. So just so you know, for today's episode, I'm having my sister come over to babysit Riley, okay? Your sister? What does she look like? I don't even know her. She just looks like me, like a- Oh, I've actually met her before. She's like a slightly older, way better looking version of Chris. She she's like- she's like a fine wine, and Chris is like a cheap tequila shot. Okay, I don't know about that, but- I have seen pictures. What Nona says is very accurate. Thank you, Katrina. Does she look like Elsa? Totally. Okay, yeah, yeah, but I, I cosplayed Elsa, you know? Like, yeah, I talked to her too, and she said she's becoming a teacher, which I think is so cool. Like, she's actually, like, like a good person, you know? Y are you saying I'm not? She sounds a hell of a lot better than you. <laughs> well, would she come babysit us as well? Uh, okay, she's here. Everybody just shut up. Hey, come on in. Hey, everybody. See what I mean? That 100%. Thanks, guys. Alright, I've been tasked yet again to teach your class since your teacher is on leave, and today is English. Riley. I already know that. Ah, do you know what verb is? Like Phineas and Ferb. No. Alright, let's start with adjectives. Psst, pass this to Riley. All day. Alright, so. So, Russians are... Give me an adjective. Come on, get them. I can't. Okay, I'll start. Riley, here. 
Today. Example, the Russians are bestest. Here. Is here? <gasps> Piss one more note in my class and I will beat you. And beat is what, Riley? A Phineas and Ferb. Da. <gasps> Excuse me, mother. Misha, you're supposed to be tutoring chess. What are you doing? He can wait. <gasps> Misha? What is it? I think I am in love. Really? Da. All right. So tell me, would you fight bear in the woods for her? Da. Take bullet for her? Da. Would you snap your fingers with infinity stones knowing full well you'll die? Oh, da. Would you let Darth Vader strike you down so she could escape the Death Star? Uh, yeah, probably. Would you let her float on door in the middle of the ocean where she holds your hand while you're freezing to death in the ocean knowing full well there is room on the door. There is room. Are these all movie references? Answer the question. Ah! You are in love. Okay. And are you okay there, mother? No, I've just been watching a lot of upsetting American cinema lately. <sighs> hey, mom, can I ask you a question? Oh, just ask. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I was just about to hold a family meeting in here, too, so you might as well. Great. So, hypothetically, if someone was to put a fork in the microwave, would it explode? Uh, yeah, I don't know, probably. Hypothetically, how long would it take to explode? I don't know, like a couple minutes maybe? I'm not a scientist. Uh, did you put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically. Oh my god, how long has it been in there? How long have we been talking? Oh my god. Oh shit. April Fools! It, it, it's May 5th. <laughs> yeah, because you'd be expecting it on April 1st. So... Who put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically, it did explode. I don't think you know what hypothetically means. Sorry I'm late to the party. Mm -hmm. Oh, no worries. Come on in. Who is that woman? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Where is everybody? Mom! Oh, hey! Mom! Where is she? Mom! What? Riley, have you seen your mom yet? No. Where is she? should be here by now. Maybe let's ask this extremely attractive woman. Da! Oh, miss, do you know the location of our other mother? Uh, are you guys serious right now? Mom? <laughs> Riley, that is not your mother. <coughs> Holy shit. What do you mean? I am not going to lie, I did not recognize you. Yeah, you look stunning! I did not realize she had this much potential. Da, it's like she leveled up to an upgraded skin. Da, reconfirming my suspicions we are living in the simulation. Hey, beautiful, I haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> Ew, Chad! Janet! Hold it, did you change your... everything? You all suck. I'm gonna go talk to your mother. Riley, can you get off the iPad and help me clean up? After I'm done! Excuse me? After I'm done. Did you think that was a recommendation? No, do you think I ever spoke to Yanona that way? You did. Literally all the time. Ma, I'm trying to teach you how to not talk back. Oh, uh, what, by lying? For heaven's sake, your favorite word to use as a kid was fuck. Ma! Fuck. Mm-hmm. No! Oh, God, it was always fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, fine, fine, fine. But how about you tell her how you punished me after I did that, okay? Tell her. Tell her how you beat me into next Tuesday every time I did. I would never. What do you mean you never did? You did it every time. I do not recall that. Are you serious right now? I think you hit your head too many times as a kid. You're just making stuff up now. You were the one that did it. Okay, you need to calm down. Yeah, Mom, just chill the f*** out. That's on you. I don't...